Hey there, I'm Kapil Diwal here. I hope that most of you have seen the previous videos on uh, programming, that is on Python programming. So uh, based on the feedback which I got on my comments and uh, in my Instagram DMs, I have uh, realized that there were a few points which I should have jotted down earlier but I did not and I'll be telling those to you today. So uh, uh, speaking of that, if you want to send me any feedback, if you want, if you have any, if you want to have a personal chat or anything, then the, the only place where you should message me is on my Instagram account because that's where it's easy to check messages and I see them. So let's jump into the video. So the first thing which I would advise everyone uh, related to these videos is to practice. Okay. So I know a lot of these people and even my myself was uh, like that some time back uh, that uh, maybe a year or year and a half back that I used to see a lot of videos on these topics like Python and web development, Android development and all of these, but I never practiced things. Okay. So one of the reasons why I did not make a video every day, like I said, right now, is so that you get time to practice. Okay. Otherwise your mind will get cluttered. You will not have a good grasp of the concepts. Okay. So in programming, one of the most important things is to practice what you're learning in theory. Okay. You have to write code. Okay. That is the most important thing. It's not enough to just read, to just watch videos or read. You have to write code, make it run and have things done for yourself. Okay. So, uh, that's one thing and uh, so just make sure you are coding you have to code you have to run and until you get the output on your screen never give up and do it until then your practice is incomplete okay this brings me to the second point which is googling things okay so there are a lot of things which i know i did not explain very well in the video okay so for example some people are having trouble in the interpreter okay a lot of people have messaged me on instagram and on comments also so for that i would recommend that you have to google out your errors okay this is probably the most important thing in software engineering the most important thing that you have to know how to google things well i will probably make a video on it as well but for now the assignment of this video is that you try to figure out the solution of that yourself how you have to do it for example your interpreter is not working okay you would be probably you would get an error in your console like there's a screen which I showed in last video, right? Where this red text was coming for error. Just copy that, post it on Google and just try to search. There are sites like Stack Overflow, there are GitHub discussions where you can find the solutions to these problems, okay? So for now, for example, if your internet is not working, you are getting an error. Then just try to Google it. Ki, you know, uh, I'm not able to interpret on PyCharm or PyCharm tutorial. Okay, you'll get some video, you'll get some blogs, you read them. That is the only way to succeed in software engineering, okay? And until you develop that skill yourself, it, nobody is going to do that for you, okay? So Googling stuff is very, very important and you have to develop this skill as early as possible, okay? And whenever you are in any kind of trouble like you, so for example, there were some people who commented that why you did not put C in inverted commas. So just try to Google that, okay? And try to be as concise in Google search as possible. So people usually take this thing for granted, but Google search is, itself is a very huge skill and it's something which not everyone knows, okay? People, for example, if you want to search key, why is my interpreter not working? Google will not give you a good result. You have to search interpreter not working PyCharm, something like this. Okay, just concise words, remove all why words and grammar, grammar, just remove all of that. Okay, so I'll make a video on it, but for now, try to do things on your own. Okay, just Googling stuff. Third thing which I would like to tell to every aspiring programmer is to have patience. Okay, so this was one thing which I really, really struggled with when I was first learning programming around two years back that I did not have patience in me, okay, whenever I used to read, okay, so I'm like, I pick up material fast, but in the initial phases, I have to, you know, give up some, give some time to material, okay, so that is with most human beings, so, you know, there's a learning curve to everything, okay, so at first you are a bit slow, then you, you write exponentially, right, so similar, and this applies really heavily to programming, so first of all, you will struggle, okay, you will not get what, what the hell is going on, and you will not get concepts, okay, but it's all right. Just try to hustle. Just try to read things. You know, try to write some code. We'll definitely get things. Okay. And this is probably the biggest thing in programming side or even in computer science or in anything in life that you have to show a certain level of patience before you get things. Okay. So the, these things are kind of related. Whenever you're stuck somewhere in your programming things, uh, you have to, uh, in, you have to practice. Okay. So that you get it again. For example, if you could not write a code for say a program of anything, Say, for example, you could not write a code for adding to numbers. Then you go to the second step. You Google things, okay, how a code, Python code for adding to numbers. You will get some results, okay. Just go to them and try to read the code. Try to understand the code and then do it yourself, which is step one, okay, practicing on your own. 
and for doing all of these steps you have to be a bit patient okay patient okay you, you will not get things instantly but once you are out of that phase then you will have exponentially okay so these are just things i want to tell to everyone because you know i i think that i should have told you earlier but you know one of the reasons which i did not was that if you discover them yourself you will learn more okay you will understand that how much you do not know and then it's easier to you know once you're on ground then it's easier to grasp things so just just these were my two cents for aspiring programmers and i will continue the series soon and uh, the next video will be on uh, most likely it will be on input output strings and these things okay some uh, again these are some basics then we will go to fs for while these things uh, and then i'll do some object oriented programming and probably at the end of the series i would like to make some real life projects i don't know maybe a game or something <laughs> i don't know so uh, this was it for the video and i hope uh, you guys liked it and check out the links in the description for computer science articles books and and a lot many things and do watch the series before your college the having a good grasp of coding is really really a big boost in your engineering life thanks a lot for watching guys bye